Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be solving an application of the C-median lines. Um, this is an Olympiad problem from Poland in 2000. Um, so we are given a triangle ABC such that AC is equal to BC. So we have an isosceles triangle and P is a point inside that triangle such that the angle PAB is equal to angle PBC. If that's the case, and if M is the midpoint of AB, um, so then we would like to show that angle APM plus angle BPC is actually equal to 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and uh, draw this construction. So we have our, um, I guess, our, our isosceles triangle here, something like that. And then we have the base, so that's perfect. So that's our angles here. So we have our triangle ACB, where those two angles CAB is equal to um, angle uh, ABC, ABC, simply because AC is equal to CB. Second of all, we know the point P is in such a place such that, to consider, for instance, uh, this location, we are given that angle, uh, so, sorry, angle PAB, so if P is somewhere on this line, let's assume, so PAB would be this angle over here, um, so it's given that that angle is equal to angle PBC, so PBC, so probably somewhere here would do the trick, so, um, so we have uh, this construction here, there you go, and so we claim that those two red angles are equal, but because the whole angle is equal, it means the um, the remaining are also equal among themselves, so those green ones are equal among themselves, and the red ones are equal uh, between themselves. So, we have that, uh, as I said earlier, CAB so is equal to ABC, because of the isosceles triangle, isosceles. And second of all, we know that angle PAB is equal to angle PBC, which is given in the problem. It implies that angle PAC, as I said, the green one, is equal to angle uh, PBA. If that's the fact, then we can see that the circumcircle of triangle ABP if you think about it, think of the circumcircle of triangle APB. So we need to draw it carefully because consider the uh, arc AP. It will be subtended by both this green angle and this green angle here. So as a result, we can confidently say that that circumcircle will be tangent to point A. But by a similar reasoning, we can also show that it will be also tangent to point B as well. So as a result, uh, we can go ahead and draw the circumcircle in such a way that it will be tangent at point A and also in point B as well. So something like this. I hope it is it makes sense because those two green angles they subtend the arc minor arc AP here, and similarly the red angles they subtend the, the arc PB here. So as a result, um, um, the circumcircle is tangent. Uh, the circumcircle of PAB is tangent uh, to um, to the line CA and CB at points A and B. And by immediately applying the lemma, I can extend the line CP and CP simply the C-median. So I can go ahead and do that. So let me do it with another color. Let's use the red color again. So I can go ahead and draw the C-median line here. So CP, oops, something like that. So let me just erase this here. So let's make a correction. Okay, good. So this line is the C-median line. But remember the definition of the C-median line. So the C-median line 
is in fact the reflection of the median across the angle bisector. So if I locate the median, which is probably somewhere above the center of the circle, so somewhere here, that's the midpoint M of AB. So the median is PM here. So as a result, by definition, uh, by definition, definition of the C median, uh, and we can certainly apply definition of C median because the circle, the circumcircle of APB is tangent at A and B. Okay, and they, those tangents, they meet at point C, obviously. By definition of the C median, we know that angle APM, hmm, the angle APM, which is right here, draw it, is simply equal to angle uh, BP, let's call this point as K, angle BPK. So those two angles are equivalent, uh, BPK. But notice that angle BPK is supplementary to angle... Uh, B, P, C. So there, oh, sorry. Uh, my apologies. So it is supplementary to angle B, P, C. So therefore, it is 180 degrees minus angle B, P, C. But then using these two, I realized that angle A, P, M plus angle B, P, C is simply equal to 180 degrees as, uh, we, as, as desired. So that solves this uh, very nice problem, very easy problem. Notice that configuration of triangle PAB, because it's obtuse, uh, we, we made note of this earlier, it has a slightly different configuration than the, the usual configuration where the tangency meet on the other side of line AB, but that's still fine. Line CP is the C-median, by definition of C-median CP, huh? and as a result, it is the um, reflection across the angle bisector of the median, and then because we know those angles are equal, we can easily uh, complete the proof, and we are done.